Hello, today I will continue the video from my last video from my channel that I have been uploaded for the last purpose of month. It's been a long time I haven't uploaded any video in my channel. So today I'm gonna continue to this video, 80 Mega 32AP schematic design video, but number four. In this video, I got a comment to talk in English language. So in this video, I will talk in English language. Okay, so uh, on the last video, we have finished the schematic design uh, using 80 Mega 32AP microcontroller in this. So today I'm gonna convert it to PCB design. Before we convert it to PCB design, all of these particular schematic sample need to be choose respective footprint library. And in this schematic drawing, I have already choose the respective footprint library, so it's okay, no problem. Okay, we just clear it and okay, uh, after that we will convert it to update PCB from schematic or, or we can prax affect key. If we just prax update PCB, okay, in this time we will see the footprint that we have chosen for each schematic sample. Okay, so uh, in this case we can see the 3D view, a uh, view, 3D viewer, or otherwise we can press the shortcut key or the plus 3. So, okay, so if we click this one, uh, okay, we're gonna see the 3D view of the footprint library. Okay, in this case, uh, some of the footprint are missing 3D view. For example, this particular footprint G1. G1 is represent for uh, this one, this Canada, this type of DC chart Canada. Uh, Grabgap.com, DC chat. Okay, if we press and add a DC chat, we can download an, any kinds of phone as we wish. Okay, so uh, after downloading, uh, after downloading, we have to upload it to the PCB footprint. In order to upload it to the footprint, just press E. Okay, after that, we press 3D model. Okay, in this case, uh, we uh, we have to delete the original footprint library because the original footprint and the original 3D view doesn't have any 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 shape. So okay, we delete it, and then after that we click, uh, we just click it. Okay, so after clicking this one, uh, we gonna uh, we have to choose the one that we have downloaded. So just here, this one, this one, as I have already downloaded from the crack gap, uh, so I just double click on it. Okay, so. That 3D, that particular 3D object will be mounted on the that footprint. Uh, we have to adjust the orientation of the 3D object because it is a little bit not in line with the footprint and the 3D view. So uh, it's okay, no problem. We can just align, we can just adjust the orientation. Okay, so by doing this way, we are able to see the fit position of the 3D view and the footprint. After that, uh, we're gonna go back to view with the 3D view of the 3. Uh, okay, so we are able to see the 3D view in this case. Okay, so let's get started on the PCB designing process. Before we start the PCB designing process, we have to, firstly, we need to predefine the design rule. Okay, so for example, if we would like to use the GSE PCB, so we have to follow the GSE PCB minimum capability and maximum capability. If we would like to produce this boat in the PCB way, we have to follow the minimum and maximum capability of the PCB way. So, okay, so I'm gonna produce this boat in the GSC PCB. So, uh, by the way, this one is not a sponsor post, okay? Uh, you can add up this website by uh, GSCPCB.com. Okay, we just played on the capabilities. In order to define this design rule, we must need to go the boat setups, okay? So in this design rule, I have already, um, I have already, I have already updated the design rule in the key get by looking on this capability. For example, it's talk about minimum clearance. Minimum clearance is uh, here. We can see minimum clearance for one to two layer five mm. Otherwise, zero point one to seven millimeter. So I just put just zero point one to seven millimeter, something like that. Okay. So after we have to, uh, we have to put this data manually after that uh, we just need to click ok you know after defining the design rule we have to predefine the trial wake uh, in this case i have already defined in order to make this predefined trial wake we just need to click on this and then after click uh, edit predefine in this case we just need to plug uh, plus sign in and we just need to put plus sign in for example if we would like to put 0 0.254 millimeter 0 0.254 millimeter just plus just press on it uh, something like that. Uh, 
for the VR is also something like that. We just need to put the VR hole diameter 0.6 millimeter and hole is 0.3 millimeter. Great and hole size of this manufacturer. In this case, we're gonna see VR diameter and VR hole size is 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.5 millimeter for diameter and 0 0.3 millimeter for hole size. So in this keycard, I just put diameter for 0 0.6 and mm, hole size for 0 0.3 millimeter. Okay, after that, uh, we just press place. Okay. So, uh, in order to make the component placement, uh, we must need to reference the schematic design that we have to sign. For example, if we click the microcontroller in this PCB already highlighted, so it will be easy to uh, make a component placement by looking on this. Uh, it will be better if we use a uh, Jura monitor. One, one monitor is our opening scanner drawing and one monitor is designing the PCB. So it will be better for doing this purpose. Firstly, we may need to define the both side. There is a limitation of the minimum and maximum dimension of the PCB. So uh, it's okay, no problem. So in this case, I'm going to use just only 2.5 inch or something. Uh, in order to create the both side, firstly, we need to make the dimension diagram. So in order to make the dimension diagram, I just need to select the user drawing layer. This user drawing layer will not affect on the production. This is just for the command layer, something like that. Okay, so uh, we gonna click this user drawing, user drawing, and then we just click this uh, at a line linear dimension. Okay, in this case, uh, we may need to change the grid. Okay, in order to change the grid, just right click on the screen. And then we can change the grid. Okay, I'm gonna select 2.54 millimeter grid. Okay, and then I will change the unit to inch 2.93 millimeter. Oh, sorry, three inches. Okay, I'm gonna make three inch PCB design. Okay, after that we can change back to millimeter. It's okay, no problem as you wish. Okay, so after this, okay, after that we're gonna make the bow shape. In order to create a bow shape. Both shape will be drawn inside the adult cat layer. So we have to click adult cat layer. After that, we just draw the line for the shape that what we want. In this case, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna draw a square shape. So yeah, in this case, uh, our cursor is moving in forty five degree orientation. So if we would like to move the cursor in free form, we just need to press the shortcut key shift space. So, okay, in this case, okay, we can move the cursor in free form. If we press again shift space, the cursor will be moved in 45 degree orientation. Okay, so shift space, uh, we can move it freely. Press Ctrl S for saving and Auto 3 for 3D view. Okay, in this case, we're gonna see the bow shape that we have made. I'm used to place the mounting hole. Um, if I select our H1 mounting hole in the PCB, already highlighted. So in this case, we're gonna move easily by pressing shaka key M. We can move freely. So uh, in order to rotate the footprint, uh, we can press the shaka key R. The footprint uh, that we have slotted will be rotated. Okay, so by using like this way. So this is very simple. For the mounted hole, I'm gonna change the grid to 1.27 millimeter. Okay, after that, by doing this way. Okay, so after that, uh, we're gonna see uh, Control S, Auto 3. By pressing on it, uh, we're gonna see the placement of this one. But in this case, I'm, I would like to hide Dix layer. I mean, Dix uh, letter H2, H1, H3, H4. This is, uh, if we are, uh, this is inside the sys screen layer. We're gonna put on the fabrication layer, after fat, we do fat, something like that. Actually, after fat, we do fat is also like user drawing layer. Okay, so if we don't want to see this H1, okay, we just press this footprint and we just click uh, E for edit property in this generate. We're gonna change this after six layer to after fat layer. In this case, we are not seeing this letter. So, this is manually doing. This doing manually by uh, hiding the sys screen uh, label. So uh, if we don't want to do, uh, if we would like to do it for every component, it will be take more long time. So uh, GitHub already updated the one kind of uh, so-called plugin. Uh, you can download it inside the plugin and content manager. Uh, we just need to select all that footprint, uh, for example, this all full mounting hole, and then after that, 
we just click this one back hides the screen doesn't matter after clicking on this uh, we're gonna see we are not able to see that screen anymore okay so after that uh, I would like to make the bow shape into this uh, you know a rounded corner not a sharp corner because it will be sharp to the finger if we are holding that PCB so uh, for the safety uh, we're gonna change the corner shape rounded corner shape so uh, I have to this is we are creating the bow shape so we may need to select again the uh, adult cat layer here adult cat layer after that we may need to draw an S so we just press this too okay just put a center to the mountain hole and then just draw the S okay this is very pretty simple Okay, at the time we are seeing the test uh, notification, we are missing the outline. So, which means uh, these are not. So, we may need to report this one to this one, something like that. For all corner. Okay, so uh, we just look again with 3D view. Okay, so uh, we are seeing the rounded corner shape. So, um, in order to make the component placement, we I would like to change the I'm used to change the grid size to 0 0.005 inch, which means uh, five mils, 0 0.127 millimeter. So okay, so firstly, I would like to make the component placement for the power supply design. So plus 12 volt to plus 5 volt LDO low drop regulator power supply using AMS 17-5.0, which means I was converting 12 volt to 5 volt using that regulator. Just select all that groups okay after that we just go back to PCB so all these components are already highlighted at the time we can press the shaker key B if we press the shaker key B all the footprint will be picking up to make a placement so it will be more easy to make the component placement and it will be a little bit fast way to call out each particular component now we may need to make the component placement at uh, what we have described in the scavenger drawing, okay, you know, uh, it is actually a little bit more important and it may need to pay more time to make a common placement carefully. It is very important for a PCB design, okay. Okay, so we just, uh, press, uh, I'm going to place the DC jet at here, okay, after putting the DC jet, uh, okay, here must have for a protection of the reverse polarity for a input. Okay, so we can make the we can place the must have on it. Okay, after that, a uh, 22 microfarad capacitor. 22 microfarad capacitor. I will put in here. I'm gonna put this one slide this way. Okay, and also for the ferrite 120 ohm. For right, okay. Press, uh, sorry, press. Okay, okay. So here we can, uh, we are able to see the redness line in the blue color. So this redness line, uh, we have to draw the truck line. Are uh, indicating we have to draw the truck line. So, uh, by putting on this, uh, it will be more easy if we put this in a straight, you know, uh, in a straight shape. So in order to make a straight shape, we can make an alignment between these two components. For example, uh, if I would like to make an alignment between this part and this part, okay, it is very simple. Firstly, we just may need to make a press slot on this part, and then after that, by pressing, by pressing shift together at the same time, click on that part. So we will make a muddy slot, and then we just made a casa. We just put a casa on that footprint, and just press right click, and then make a line of distribute, align to vertical center. Okay, at the time we were it, it will make an alignment itself between this part and this part. Okay, just put uh this one. After that we chat again with 3D view. Okay, we will be seeing in this way. Okay, so we can make it like this way. Okay, after that I will put on this one. This one will be put on this way. Okay, so power LED, power LED and 1.2 kilo ohm resistor. Uh, so it will be put on here. Okay, so check again with 3D view. Okay, all right. It's very pretty simple, right? This microcontroller.
So I'm going to select all the group of microcontroller mm -hmm. session and then I just prep P. So, okay. so after that, I will put the CU on the shape. Okay, so I'm going to put on I'm gonna put on here. So uh, I would like to put this MCU in the center of the boat. So in order to make the vertical alignment, we just need to press this by pressing on shift and make that alignment. Um, align horizontal center. After that, press this one. Align vertical center. So which means our microcontroller MCU will be inside the center of the boat. So after that, I'm going to put the respective capacitor, capacitor to each side. So it is, uh, it is a little bit more important to put that capacitor as near as possible to the power pad of the MC because we just put it as a feeder of that microcontroller or line. So we may need to put as near as possible. It would be better if we put like this screen. Okay, after that. That 100 nanofarad capacitor where it goes to uh, this side. And also here, this one, analog reference fitter capacitor. Here we're gonna put in this way. Okay, so by checking with 3D view, we're gonna see in this shade. Okay, crystal oscillator. Crystal oscillator. So crystal oscillator is more we'll put here. Also, crystal oscillator is also like that we may need to put as near as possible between the microcontroller truck and microcontroller pad and that crystal oscillator. So, I will make the alignment these three destinator. Okay, cool. Okay, so by pressing on 3D view, okay, we're gonna see like this way. Okay, I'm gonna put this uh, switch reset button. Reset button, so reset button. Okay, we're gonna see on light like this way. So it is really pretty simple, <clears throat> right? Okay, we will put this ICSP header. Okay, cool. So we are seeing in this way. Okay, after that, we are, we need to connect up this one for I do see connect up and this one is for UART connect up. Okay, I think this will be better, but we are seeing this way. Here we are gonna see on it uh, the redness line is crossing to each other. We can change it this one like this way. We can change it like this way. After that, I press a uh, two update PCB from schematic update PCB. Okay, so in this case we we can route the truck easily. Okay. And also for this uh, UART. Okay, after that, I will make the relay circuitry, relay circuit placement. Okay, I press P here. Yeah, I'm gonna see the relay. So here's the NOMC cone connector. Going with time O as in here. After that, transistor. Resistor for switching, so and also for this resistor, I'm gonna make a uh, placement like this way. Okay, after that, uh, okay, here LED circuitry, LED circuitry. So we just okay, by clicking on the 3D view, we will see in this format if we turn on this relay, this LED will be like that. Okay, okay, so here USB type B connector. Okay, so but uh, we have to care on that kind of USB connector because uh, it have uh, you know something in the pattern of the USB something like that. So uh, if we put uh, inside to this PCB, it will be difficult for assembly process. So we may need to put a little bit more further on the edge of the PCB. After that, uh, here's the EST protection circuitry for the USB trace line. Okay, after that, I'm gonna put this one. I'm checking 3D view, we're gonna see like this. Okay, right, cool, pretty cool. Okay, so, 
So it's a little bit more important to put as near as possible. Okay, after that we put a capacitor for that VCC line. So we also need to put this capacitor as near as possible in this power line. Uh, by checking on the 3D view, we're gonna see like this way. Okay, this resistor, this resistor we put here, and also this resistor, and we put here. LED for you know blinking during the serial communication. This is, uh, actually this one is not necessary, but uh, something like for user indication purpose. So uh, it doesn't really matter whether you, if you would like to add or if you don't would like to add, it's no problem. After that, uh, we may need to put that capacitor in the detail line for reset condition. Free LED. So we're gonna put those three LEDs, so just press P. Okay, so we're gonna plug. Okay, so we're gonna start the routing process. So before we start the routing process, are we, this is a two layer PCB bolt. So in this case, if we would like to use multiple layers, something like four layer, six layer, or 10 layer, something like that, if we would like to use, we can change the layers. So yeah, currently we are seeing F dot CU and B dot CU. So it has two layer. I mean, it has two uh, copper layer. So if we would like to use four layer, it must have four copper layer. So if we would like to add more layer, we can just change the setting like this way by clicking on the both setup. Okay, uh, we can change the four layer. If we click, uh, if we change to four layer, uh, we will see after see you and one of see you and just see you and we just be two just uh, we just see you. So we will use uh, uh, we can make the four layer design. Currently, I will use this. Uh, I'm, I'm currently I will design the uh, two layer design. So I will change back to two layer boat. Okay, here put two and click OK. Let's get started the routing process. So before we make the routing process, uh, we have to make the you know uh, we have to make the ground zone for power layer and battery layer on the PCB. Right. So okay, the way how we can do the ground zone is uh, by sliding on the uh, after CU layer, and then we just need to put the add a field zone. Just click on it. Okay, here I'm gonna change the grid size to 2.54 millimeter. Okay, here just put. Uh, uh, in this case, we have to choose the net line. In this case, we will make the ground zone, so we have to choose the net as ground GND. In this case, um, okay, here, come on, and then put, put on it, put on it. Okay, so after that, uh, we have to press the shaka key B for Rafi. So by pressing on this way, we have uh, all of the ground connection are connected by itself. You know, here, ground connection, ground connection, GND, all of the ground connection will be connected automatically by NSF. If we check on the 3D view, we will see like this way, right? Okay, and also, uh, in this case, uh, the pattern layer have a ground zone, so uh, it's okay, no problem. We can do it separately, FCU and BCU, or we can put directly on the same by pressing both layer. Okay, after that, we have to press the B for refilling. Here, we will see the ground zone on both forward layer and bottom layer. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna change the setting 0 0.25. After that, by clicking press B. Okay, here we will see like this way. So, uh, here uh, which means we don't need to route the ground line anymore because ground layer, uh, ground lines are already connected to is to each other by itself. So we don't need to route anymore. We have to route the uh, any other signal layer, right? So uh, in this case, by pressing uh, by seeing like this, we we are not able to uh, we cannot route the track line easily. So we will hide the uh, this layer. So by pressing this, we will. We are not able to see the, you know, shape here. Okay, so let's 
get started on the routing process. So here route trap or shaker key H, we can press on it and here we may need to choose the what which, uh, what uh, truck we, uh, do we like to use, what we like to use for resume, this is the power line so we will use uh, 1.27 millimeter here. We can route we can route the power line by like this way. We can route the power line by like this way or we can route with a face on it. And then like ground zone. So in order to make a kind of zone we just need to prep this one and here we can choose uh, we have to change the grid size to uh zero point one to seven millimeter here and Going to make like this way. In this case, I will change to solid. Pet condition do I will change to solid. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I will I would like to move the cursor in 45 degree orientation. So press shift and space. So uh, the cursor will be moved like this way. Okay. So after that, uh, currently we are seeing like this. At the time, if we press the checker DP, we will see like this. So, which means uh, this 12 connection are connected by the, uh, you know, not a truck line. Actually, it, is a, it has a connection, but we just, you know, we will see. So, um, we can hide this 3D view by pressing, uh, by clicking on this button for the through hole 3D view. For this button is for assembly view. Okay, so uh, we can check. This, this is really pretty cool Giga. that's why I'm liking it very much <laughs> okay so here I will, I will adjust a little bit in here uh, I would like to make some adjustment here okay uh, will be better okay this one is we can draw also like this uh, not Q1S okay not Q1 as if I'm pressing B, we can change on we can see on this side. Okay, we will see like this. This is really pretty cool. Okay, for Net Q2 VI. Net Q2 VI is this one. I have to change the solid. Okay, I gonna make like this way. By pressing B, so we can check on 3D view. After that, we will be C like this. So power session is a little bit easy. After that, uh, I'm gonna continue drawing for that line. Okay. During uh during routing the truck, we can change the truck length size by pressing W. W is for, if we press W, the truck size will be big. If we press shift flex W, so the truck size will be reduced. Okay, so this is uh, something like what we do in RTM design. Okay, so we will continue the routing truck for this one, microcontroller. Okay, in this case, I'm not able to draw the truck because the clearance are you know as well, uh, evolution so uh, I have to reduce the truss size what about if I use 0 0.58 millimeter okay I'm able to I'm able to bottle I'm able to track okay all right pretty cool and this came Hmm, I'm just thinking of what about if I put like this, it will be more easy to draw, right? So I have to drop down a little bit this circuitry, okay? Okay, so I will draw the oscillator line. So I'm change the truck size for like this. Okay, I'll make like this. Okay. Okay, cool. 
It's really pretty cool. Okay, uh, we can check it on the three view. We will see like this. Okay, and also for that two capacitor, I'm gonna draw a big. And also for this one, I'm gonna change the flap size to three at the team males. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And also for the LED. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. Cool. So relay secretary is also finished. Mm hmm. Pretty cool. Okay, so uh, for this line, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw the track like this. Hmm. Okay, in this case, I will change from back layer. Okay, here, this is coming from the Bad copper layer. This component, this microcontroller MCU is uh, on the so called on the forward layer of the PCB box. So if we draw from the if we draw the truck from the backward layer, we are not able to connect these two line this this line and this part. So we have to use the VR hole. So in order to use the VR hole, we just uh, hold the cursor on some position and then we just use uh we press the v key v key if we press the v key we will see the via hole but in this case the via hole is a little bit uh, you know a little bit bigger than what we have defined because this is the default via hole side so i'm gonna change back the via hole to the side that we have defined and then after that we will continue the draw uh, continue the routing in this case we press shock key v here we will see the via hole. After that, we just click, and after that, uh, we will see the forward layer. Okay. So by doing this, we can use the via hole to connect from one layer to another layer for changing the truck line. Okay. So let's draw an edge. Mm hmm. A five. Okay. So we can adjust the uh, truck line by putting the casa on that track and press the key D uh, okay we can adjust the track line this way okay so by this way we can draw the track line pretty cool okay so here this way this way like this also like this and also for the UART RX After that, so where's the next? All right, so here I will draw the VBAS. VBAS here like this. Okay, so in this case, uh, I'm gonna draw a uh, USB signal line. Uh, as we can see on the schematic drawing, we have already noted uh, with plus sign and minus sign. In KiCad, we put a name with same color, the same, we put the same name with different sign plus and minus so we can get automatically noted as these two signal are differential signal so which means if we put this plus sign and minus sign in the naming nut label we can make uh we can make a differential routing in bcb in order to make the differential routing in bcb we have to choose the route and slash the route differential pair okay after that just click put the cursor and click on the one of the part of that differential pair, click the signal at the time two signal pair will be camels. So do truck line will be camels. So in this case we can easily connect it. Right? So um, oh, this one is also like this. So in this case, right? This is really pretty cool for the differential signal routing. Cool. <clears throat> and also for this one, we have to put the uh bipolar line like this. And also for the DDR, like this. 
Okay, so there's nothing much to continue drawing. So it's just only a few pairs of signal line. Okay, so let's continue on it. Okay, by checking on 3D view, we will see like this. Okay, so we have to continue the right signal line here. Uh, here, I'm gonna walk the turn line from here. Okay. So it will be better if we do not route any signal on the button of the crystal circuitry. So by checking on the tool view, we can see the signal light. Alright, cool. So let's start the routing for the lady. Sorry, plus five volt lady. Okay, I'm just routed by like this. Okay, so here I put plus 5 as like this. Um, but it would be better if I put this one in this area. Okay, because here I have to put the VO, uh, I have to connect the plus 5 volt here. Huh? Okay, cool. So after that, plus 5 volt. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make the connection like this. Okay. And also for I'm gonna for the and also here I'm gonna like this otherwise. Gonna like this. You can adjust the truck line by pressing the chakaki D. At the time you have to put the gas on the truck line and press D at the time you can adjust the truck line. Yeah. So it's it's really simple. Cool. Really pretty cool. Okay, so here is the 5 volt. And here we are seeing reset signal. I need more reset signal because okay. This is really amazing. Okay, after that, I have to connect this capacitor to this capacitor. I mean, this one is coming from this signal light, so I have to connect the reset signal. So I'm gonna connect like this. Uh, I'm just I'm just put the via hole and connect like this. Okay, so it's really really perfect. So it left only one signal. This is T seven digital pin number seven connecting to relay circuitry. Okay, I just put here. Yeah. Here we can connect like this. Okay. Or otherwise we can connect like this. It's okay as it was no problem. I will make the con connection. I will make the connection. Cool. Uh, here I have to connect that LED. So I'm gonna connect again. Okay, check the view. Here we can see like this. Okay, so here we have left the LED signal. So I just put with a small plug line. So okay, no problem. There is no more redness line except this relay connector circuitry. Okay, so as the last, we will connect this relay circuitry. So in this case, for this thing, this, this relay is for 10 and via relay and for both AC and DC circuitry. So which means this relay can be used for DC load and also for AC load. So in order to have the high ampere, I mean around 10 ampere, we, we have to try that we have to route the truck with the, uh, you know, big thickness. I mean, the weight might be big. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna use the button layer for this relay routing. Okay, and use like this. Okay, so in this case, everything is finished. Right? Everything is almost finished. Everything is finished. But, there's the one thing that I would like to talk is okay, these lines are release circuitry lines that will be connect for the load. This load can be, I mean, this load may be DC load or maybe AC circuitry load. 
I mean, AC voltage will be passed through in this line or DC voltage will be passed through in this line. So we are not sure on it. So if, let's assume if in this truck line, DC voltage are passing through to load, there's no problem. But if the AC circuitry, if we are using AC, something like AC motor or AC, AC light bulb or something, in this line, AC voltage will be passed through to this line. So around this truck line, we are having ground zone. Here we are having ground zone, here is AC truck line. So the clearance is a little bit dangerous for the AC line and DC ground line. Okay, so which means we have to cut out, I mean, we have to keep out around this truck line, DC ground zone. I mean, we have to keep out the DC ground zone around this line. Okay, so in order to make it, uh, we have to choose this one, error root area, keep up. So we just press uh, as far as possible. We have to put the DC ground and AC circuitry line as far as possible. And we have to move on both area, on every layer. If you are using, if you are using four layer, we have to keep up on all layer, all four layer. If we are using two layer, you have to keep up all two layer, okay? So, in this case, we have to select the sum item. This is keep out truck. Keep out truck, we will keep the truck. So, no, we have to, we don't need to select. Uh, keep out VR, so we don't need to select also this one. Keep out, but we don't need to also this one. Plus, uh, in this case, we have to select only keep out copper fit. Okay, so after that, click OK. Yeah, we will see the truck line. So, I just put like this. So, okay, in this case, we are seeing like this. At the time, if we press the B button, B key on a keyboard, if we press B, okay, we will see like this. There is no more ground zone around AC truck line. If we check on the 3D view, we're gonna see like this. Okay, so the other thing that we need to do is here is our ground zone and the below here around is our ground zone. We may need to connect with the VR, I mean ground via failing process. So, uh, which means it is pretty simple, just put uh, on uh, some places, uh, something like, uh, we just change something like this, like this. We just put, we just fill the hole like this. As a ground button, right? It's a ground zone. Something like for, you know, ground connectivity. Okay, something like that. If you would like to do it manually by yourself, it's okay, no problem. You can do it manually by yourself. Otherwise, you can use the already built in plugin. Uh, I'm sorry, actually, it is not already plugin. You you have to download. Uh, you have to download from that con uh, plugin and content manager. Uh, you can search like this this icon. You can press on it. Press. Okay, zero one six zero one G two point four millimeter ground return cooler or circuitry something like the star button, and then. You just 2.54 millimeter, mm, 1.27, 1.27, just right. Okay, you will see like this. Press B. Okay, then press B. Control S, Auto 3, check on the 3D view. You're gonna see like this. So, which means your design process is done. Okay, so after finish this one, you have to check the DRC. DRC means design will check. Okay, this is uh, DLC checking means the checking your design for is there any is there any you know violation against the rule? I mean, is there any truck uh the clearance a violation or something like that? So if the uh, uh, otherwise is there any signal that you have to route or something? Okay, so in order to make the DLC check, you have to click that button. Just click and then after that run DLC. So is there any error? or any violation in your design, we will see. Here, so in this case is, uh, what does this actually mean? That we need, we may need to, you know, uh, we may need to put a little bit far away between these two capacitors. So, okay, I'm gonna chain like this. Okay, so after that, we gonna run again. Okay, so there is no problem. Okay, so this is not, actually this one is not an error. This one is just a warning size. Actually, it means it's actually it is able to say neglect. Okay, so no problem. So 
uh, which means we have to check this DRC design rule check before we generate something on a production file. Okay, so before we release a production file, we may need to check this design rule file whether this one is uh is there any violation against the rule or not okay so currently we 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 uh, currently we have no we are not encountering any kinds of issue so we are able to generate the production file okay so in order to generate the production uh, production file so we have to create the a new folder in the project folder so and give it a name something like g e r e e r yeah file Okay, so we will use this folder to release the production file, something like called cover file, cover or Java or something like that, as, as you wish, you can call it as you wish, okay? So in order to generate that Java file, uh, so we have to click on this file, plot, okay? After that, uh, in this case, we have to output, we have to choose the output right tree. In this case, I will choose the output right tree as that Java file and then slash folder. Okay, Java file. Okay, in this case, uh, actually, Kiget is already selected the you know important layer that must be included in the Java file. So, firstly, after cu b dot cu after base b dot after c b dot six after max b dot max for uh, pseudo max screen. Uh, this is screen for the you know designator or logo or something like that. I don't get for the bow shape. Everything is included. Okay. After that, uh, we just click plot. Okay. After click plotting. In this plotting, this is uh this is just for the you know track line and path and something. But uh, so we also need to plot the tree file. So here we have to gen uh, we have to click the generate tree file. Uh, upper directory is the same for uh, in this case three file format is as a Leon as a Leon and also PDH and PDH and single file are already used to slide it and uh, use raw command recommended setting and three origin is absolute and three units is millimeter and zero format is decimal format so just something everything is a default okay so in this case generate three file close close so we can see Java file in this folder so we can check on it uh, we can check all these Java files also in Dex GitHub software by clicking on Dex Color Viewer. Okay, by clicking on this Java Viewer, we can just upload the file that we have already released. Okay, so here, uh, open the Java plot file, just click on it. Here, just uh, in this case, we have to uh, deselect this Java job file. Okay, and then open. Okay, here we will see like this. Okay, after that we will open Java Java file, Java Java file. So here we can see like this. Okay, after that uh, we gonna plot the tree file. Here, open easily on tree file. Here, but easily on tree file. Okay, here this is our Java file. So that's all. So uh, by using the Java file by uh, by signing. Out this Java file to the manufacturer, we will receive the exactly the same PCB that we have designed. Uh, this is the last thing that I would like to talk for today video. So that's all. Thank you very much for watching this video.